Ah, winter. It's right up there next to vet bills on the equestrians most hated list. But a lot of the time we think of it as nice and snow and so picturesque. But really, reality is rather bleak when you own horses. So I thought let's all have a bit of a laugh at the situations that we put ourselves through caring for these animals and let's have a realistic look at what it means to care for horses during the winter. Now we all know horses need looking after no matter the weather so come rain, sun, shine, snow, frost, everything we need to be prepared and that starts with layers. So as any of your question knows, you have to start with your basic layers, your thermal, your top, and then grab some waterproof trousers, stick those on. Yes, you'll look like you're going out to milk the cows, but it will keep you dry. Next up, you know, you've got your run of the mill jacket, something nice and light, something that maybe you can ride in later. Then obviously we need to be seen so, you know, a nice reflective jacket helps if it's three times the size that you actually need. This will be great in later months when that winter weight starts to hit because, yes, you will eat your body weight in any snack you can get your hands on because you're freezing. And finally, don't forget that waterproof layer just to finish off that Michelin Man look. If you can still bend your arms, you've not got enough layers on and you need to start again. And finally, don't forget the gloves because frostbite is real and we need all 10 fingers in order to hold the reins. And there we go, fully prepared for the outdoors for all weathers and also very nicely padded when your crazy horse decides to kick you or you fall over in the mud. And speaking of mud, you will be spending half your life during the winter wading through it to go see your horse or to provide them with hay or just for various other reasons but either way it is always muddy there is no escaping the mud everything is brown nothing is matchy matchy anymore because everything is just caked in mud and brown I've even had to give up wearing country boots and go back to wellies because my country boots just couldn't hack the cold and the damp um, and they got cracks so I'm back to wellies which means the dreaded welly moment of getting your foot stuck in the mud and your foot comes out but the welly doesn't and you end up squelched straight in the mud which has happened to me several times over the last few days so I feel your guys pain. So once you've chucked the horses into the muddy paddock for them to go and roll and get filthy and just make a general mess of everything, it's then time to head back up to the stables and do the other thing you'll spend the majority of your time doing, and that is mucking out. During the winter, especially having seven horses, I honestly feel like I'm constantly in a cycle of mucking out, bringing horses in, mucking out, bringing horses in, mucking out, and I just seem to spend half my life in a stable with a shavings fork and with using shavings means that I get shavings everywhere I get them down my top I get them in my wellies I get them in my hair I'm pretty sure I have them in my phone case they, they're just everywhere I can't escape shavings even if I tried and it's just a general mess really but we continue on because that's what we do and we continue mucking out and making a thousand trips to the muck heap which is just growing and growing and growing and we're just kind of ignoring it because the ground is far too soft to get a tractor on there to get it moved. So once all the stables are done it's then on to another job that I'm not a massive fan of and that is filling up the hay nets. So during the winter I actually have three barrows of hay nets to fill for the six horses that live at home because they get a hay net in the morning, a lunchtime hay net and an evening hay net and then we have Fussy Chili who has to have a specific type of um, haylage because he you know is just allergic to life. Now one of the best things that I think we've ever bought is this little hay net stand. It's honestly such a lifesaver. If like me you've got a lot of hay nets to do, I definitely recommend getting one. You can get some that attach to the wall or you can get a standalone one like I have which is super handy when it comes to making hay nets and it saves me so much time. So I genuinely spend about the same amount of time looking at the stables as I spend filling hay nets because we have to 
make sure that they're all the right weight and make sure that they've each got the right net and it is just a lot of work but obviously in winter there's just not the abundance of grass as you can see from the fields they're half mud so there's not the abundance of grass for them to eat so they need all of that hay which is a pain but it's got to be done. So once all the hay nets are filled, it is then the task of moving them from the barn to the stables, which takes a lot of skill, let me tell you, to balance these and it's not something that normally ends well, but today I showed that I'm an absolute pro at balancing hay nets on a barrow and I did it not once but twice and I made it all the way to the barn without losing a single hay net. And then all that's left to do is just remove the copious amounts of hay from inside my boots and my clothing. So whilst you're working away in the stable mucking out or filling hay nets, the horses are in their paddock doing one of three things. They're either stood there waiting to be fed or brought in because let's face it, there's no grass for them to eat or possibly they're being a little bit strange like Chunk who's now decided he really likes licking ice not really sure about that one Charlie or finally they're running around like idiots pulling their shoes off in the process and threatening you with yet another vet bill And then of course they promptly act like they were doing no such thing and they haven't got a clue how their shoe came off because they've been stood there like angels all day. But obviously we know the truth. And by this point they're normally caked to the eyeballs in mud and their rugs maybe have a rip or two so they're no longer waterproof so you're going to have to get that sorted. Which probably means a new rug because let's be honest getting it re-waterproof never really works. 
So finally I'm just going to shove some hay at them and hope that they stop being naughty and then it will be time to fetch them in because it will be getting dark soon anyway so early nights it is. So off I trundle to the bottom of the field because I can guarantee all the horses will be as far away from the gate as humanly possible and then I go and drag my bedraggled and rather muddy and wet pony across the school and into the stables. Now this has got to be my worst part of winter and that is wet rugs. There's just something about wet rugs, I, they're just horrible. So I always put gloves on to remove my rugs. Now I've had comments about this previously. Literally guys, when you have seven horses to do, trust me, you want gloves on because my hands get so dry and cracked from all the mud and from being constantly wet. So if I can protect them, I definitely will. So I actually just use washing up gloves um, when I'm dealing with the horse's wet rugs or the wet boots or anything. Now I am only five foot two, so lugging about big six foot odd rugs is quite difficult for me. And especially trying to get them on the rug rack is just, it's just another level of difficulty. So I had a bit of a fight getting that on, but we got there in the end. And then it's on to remove the mud boots. Now all of my horses have mud boots um, if they can. So for example, Charlie can't have them on because he's got too much feather. Uh, so all the horses have the mud boots on just to protect their legs, you know, stop them getting mud fever or anything like that because we do have rather muddy paddocks at the moment. So they get taken off and put on the dryer and then finally it's time for me to pick their feet out, which again, a job I really hate doing during winter just because you get absolutely caked in mud. But then once all those jobs have been done, it's now time to put on their nice stable rug for them to get nice and snuggly in their stable. And as much as I say I hate winter, I love to see the horses nice and snug in their stable, all settled with their hay net for the evening. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and turn on that bell icon so you get a notification every single time I post. This was just a little bit of fun. Obviously, I do absolutely adore the fact that I've got horses and I can look after them during the winter. It is just much harder being a horse owner in the winter than in the summer months, so I thought we'd all have a bit of a laugh at my expense. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna see you all next Friday at five. Bye, guys.